Welcome to Just Listen and the review of an album called Una Mas, recorded in 1963 by trumpeter Kenny Dorham for the Blue Note label. The album features stellar lineup with saxophonist Joe Henderson joining Kenny Dorham with a rhythm section of Butch Warren on bass, Tony Williams on drums and Herbie Hancock on piano. There are only three tracks on the album and all three compositions are by Kenny Dorham. The album also features one of those legendary Blue Note covers using Francis Wolff's session photo with cover design by famous Reed Miles. This album was first pairing of Kenny Dorham with Joe Henderson in the front line and they will later record several other albums together, including Joe Henderson's debut album, Page One, two months later. Just the fact that this is the first album on which we can hear tenor saxophone of Joe Henderson recorded should be enough for any jazz lover to keep this album in the highest regard. Already on his first recording, Henderson shows great potential and plays with confidence without sounding like a replica of someone else's style. At the time of this recording, Henderson was very grateful to Dorham for his support and encouragement. As Henderson was quoted in the liner notes, we have some kind of vibration going. Even when we play unison lines, it seems we breathe at the same time. That closeness comes, I suppose, from the fact that I've liked his playing so long. Way before I came to New York, I'd hoped Kenny would be one of those I could record with. Nothing less impressive is Herbie Hancock with his lightning fast chord modification, but still pro providing for the rhythm for the rest of the group. First track is the title track, Una Mas, and it takes whole one side of the vinyl record if you're into vinyl. Since it was first time Kenny Dora made performance that long on record, he explained it in the liner notes how the groove was so good when they were playing that they just kept on playing without danger of losing freshness. Three excellent solos elevate this tune. Kenny Dorham, Joe Henderson and Herbie Hancock all play with inventiveness and intense. <laughs> This was the second to last album that uh, Kenny Dorham recorded for Blue Note label before switching for The Prestige. In 2019, the New York Times Magazine wrote that the great fire in Universal Studios at 2008 unfortunately destroyed some master recordings of Kenny Dorham, along with hundreds of other artists' master tapes. I counted 20 albums where Kenny Dorham is credited as a leader. He also recorded countless other albums as a sideman for Charlie Parker, Kenny Burrell, Lou Donaldson, Benny Golson, Joe Henderson, Clifton Jordan, Sonny Rollins, Max Roach, and so on. On the second track, Straight Ahead, Tony Williams on drums is excellent during Kenny Dorham's solo. About the Joe Henderson's playing on this track, Kenny Dorham said, Joe is full of ideas and he avoids cliches. He has lots of drive and imagination and I rate him as one of top young tenor players on the scene next to Wayne Shorter. <music> Kenny Dorham's style of trumpet playing was soft and lyrical, and we could say he had a sort of minimalist approach. Una Mas is often cited as one of 1963's best jazz records by blending bossa nova blues and hard bop jazz. Kenny Dorham never received the fame as some of his fellow musicians at the time especially Lee Morgan, whose album Sidewinder a year later will find immense success. Dorham was recording for almost 10 years before Una Mas was recorded, although he was less than 40 years old. Since he played with Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie and Billy Eckstein and many others, he obviously gained a lot of experience, but still been able to develop his own style. The last composition on the album, Sao Paulo, was inspired by Kenny Dorham's visit to this Brazilian city when he was on South American tour in 1960. It's a bossa nova swing type of rhythm. One of the most notable distinctions between a Blue Note album and those released by other jazz labels at the time is that Blue Note compensated musicians on rehearsal days. 
The two days of rehearsing, according to Bob Porter of Prestige Records, is the main distinction between a Blue Note and the Prestige album. The musicians were able to learn about each other's playing techniques and better collaborate to create the music because they weren't hurried into a room and attempting to get something out as quickly as possible. This kind of dedication to the craft justifies Blue Note's inclusion on any list of iconic jazz labels. Hope you will enjoy this excellent quintet album and explore more, more albums by Kenny Dorham or any of his sidemen on this recording as they were all stellar musicians with many albums to their credit. A link to Songrip will take you directly to Unamas on major streaming platforms. Thank you for watching.